The general consensus is that we'll never have Thomas like we used to again, and he will be sorely missed. Series 5 happened, then the Magic Railroad, and the franchise was forever changed. At least, until 2022. That's right, I'm not kidding. Your eyes do not deceive you. David Tennant is back. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong show. Thomas the Tank Engine is back. And it's all thanks to Project Tiger Moth. This is a big deal for the Thomas fandom, so naturally I had made plans that clashed with the date of the premiere. Sadly, due to uni deadlines, the plans were cancelled, but fortunately for the Thomas fan in me, it meant I got to attend the online premiere. While reaction videos aren't really my thing, I decided to record my reaction, and I've kept the best bits so that it doesn't drag. Do stick around, as there is a little something at the end of the video for you. Enjoy! In the UK, this is premiering at quarter past one in the morning. It's right now four to one, so quite late up. I'm usually in bed by now and just waiting for the premiere to kick off. Apparently the link is up on YouTube now so people can join. And yeah, there it is on the page. The Project Tiger Moth, The Good Old Days, I like that title. Of course Toby's in the middle. Got to be. It's season five, it's Toby's season. So it looks like it's going to be a very Farquhar branch line kind of episode, which, based on the behind the scenes virtual we already seen, I think we all knew it was going to be of that nature. Looks very nice. Good to see the models again, and fan made model series pilot, so are we suggesting that there's going to be a whole series like this? We could hope. We could hope so. Well, we have 20 minutes, well, just over 15 minutes to go. I suppose nothing better to do than have a snack. my last chocolate roll. Now I'm sad. But it's all right. Premiere is in less than 10 minutes. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about the fact that I'm wearing a hat indoors at this time, I mean I've been wearing hats in the other videos where I'm sat here just being recorded. It's branding at this point. Percy minutes. Oh, it's Toby minutes where I'm sat at the moment. No, now it's Percy minutes. Oh no, you don't. I hear it starting. Centered. Oh. So surreal to think that in a matter of seconds we're getting our first proper classic style Thomas episode. It's only just started sinking in. <laughs> Ten seconds. This is it guys. Oh my god. They've redone the intro. Oh, that is beautiful. And it's in VHS style. Turn on this. Robert McGee is our narrator, okay. Oh my god. Stock footage. <laughs> It's 
So is it going to be the tramway that they end up working on? Uh, that's what he means by the good old days. He said it. Oh, I thought that was actual footage for a second. That shot of the driver. Were Toby's wheels red? Did they actually keep them red? I recognise that set. Wow. Here's that set. Mm hmm. Bit of railway terminology then. I smell the runaway. I saw that clenched closed face they made. Ooh. Oh. Is that not Mana Station? <laughs> Beautiful shots. It's also a really good, like, narration job here. It's very much like Alec Baldwin's season 5 work. And there's the credits. That was amazing. Seriously. I like that even though they're recapturing what was, they haven't directly taken anything. Like, apart from the tramway footage that was meant to be stock footage, it's all original, the intro, the outro. The music? Oh. Dedicated to David Mitten. And I think that is it. So the episode itself. It was only a minute longer than the average, because we were promised it would be longer. And yeah, the set recreations are fantastic. I really like their Wellsworth set, considering they don't have the same budget as the official TV series crew. They really recaptured Wellsworth and that windmill set from the very beginning so well. And to see them go out of their way to recreate the intro bridge in Farquhar just because they could is it's fantastic. Like neither of those sets were used in the episode but they bothered to recreate them for the intro anyway, just so that it would be their own footage. So it's very like season five meets season one sort of set for Wellsworth. I like it. I've been intrigued to know like what Toby was doing at Wellsworth since it's where Oliver's located, but then I suppose again it's because Wellsworth was in season five, you'd want somewhere that's going to be busy so you can show off your props and engines and these original sets are fascinating they really look like they were made for the show this Y junction it does feel exactly like what you'd get in the season 5 episode Arsdale End is that is that a direct recreation of the station building or is that because I'm getting season 3 vibes from the actual set design not the set in general, just the prop I mean. I'm not totally sure. If there's concept art or anything for these episodes, I'd really like to see that. Just to, you know, get a look on the production for this. But no, I think they're definitely trying to go for the Arsdale end is Oliver's Fine Station. Which, I think most of us do have that headcanon. I know officially it can't be that on the map in the show because of its placement of the coal mines and how Oliver gets there. It's a bit of a complicated mess, something I can talk about in a future video in further detail. But definitely personal headcanons are that the Oliver's Fine Station is Toby's Arsdale End Station. That shot where there's the fade transition from like all three engines at the shed to the reopening of the station. That is such a season one shot right there. And it's amazing to see something like that 
just gotta watch that ending one more time. Who did the theme tune? I love this version of the theme tune, it's such a pop. Am I seeing names from the original people? So I saw a Jonathan Savile, they worked on the original show, didn't they? Asaya Ferguson. Hopefully I'm saying Asaya right. But yeah, wonderful work on the music, Asaya. Oh, lack of sleep is starting to get to me. Mm. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the good old days. And if we're so lucky as to get another Project Tiger Moth, then I don't think there's any word to describe how great that's going to be for the fandom. There's such a great achievement that has been shown here today. Years of hard work for what is just breathtaking. Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. Whistling triumphantly, he plunged into the tunnel. At last, battered, weary, but unbeaten, Edward steamed in. Look, Henry, called Terence, we're beginning again. The hillside will look better than ever before, you'll see. Duck still wanders about the lands beyond the horizon. We want to find Duke and make him happy again. Rusty is sure that on a clear night it is gazing up at the mountain and that its sighs have been carried on the wind to where it once used to stand, proud and silent. And just to wrap things up, I want to say a big thank you to the team behind Project Tiger Moth, who have made this achievement possible, and for a brief moment in history, brought back Classic Thomas. And now, here's a little teaser for my upcoming Christmas video.